Every remaining detail regarding the iPhone 12 lineup has been leaked by John Prosser. We now know the actual naming, storage, pricing, the differences between all the models, concrete differences, and capabilities between the models. Yes, they will be neutered on the cheaper end with the details regarding at 120Hz display, which is going 10 bit AirPods Studio details, 14 inch MacBook Pro. It's been a wild year of weeks like this, is one of the worst, of course. John Prosser did predict with coronavirus and all it would be getting worse and as it was we have 13 days into worshipping affordable cases could not be more excited about that right let's get into that now want to start with i was 13.5 will be releasing 13.5 on tuesday of this coming week this was spotted by twitter user guardian is reporting that apple is looking to release its contact tracing feature on this coming tuesday really this mad lad has spilled every detail regarding the iphone 12 and wanted to start the high the floor with samsung with their new New iPhone 12 lineup I do agree based on the specs what we're looking at the bells regarding how all the models will different prices storage display specs cameras a lot of stuff we knew but there is a lot new here so first off the naming the 5.4 inch model will be called the iPhone 12 saw regarding the 5.4 inch size and people saying it doesn't look as small as it should be in is because it was from earlier the models have been adjusted back then it is quite a small model that can be one of the most popular just based on size here now Prosser says this model will have a super retina organic LED display made by Do Chinese company this is partly why the pricing will be solo at $649 starting at 128 gigabytes and then a second option going to 256 749 no 512 option much like the iPhone 11 does not have one either right this device will have 4 gigabytes of RAM and aluminum body so I'm pretty sure it will be textured like the iPhone same models iPhone 11 models it will still be capable of 5G and dual cameras in a step up from that we're looking at the Swinerike and I we speculated it would be called the iPhone 12 Plus but Max makes so much more sense in the lineup they're also looking at a super retina display organic LED made by Do Chinese company 4 gigabytes of RAM a dual lens camera aluminum body supreme much the same device just slightly larger here price tag will be $100 more for the 128 gigabytes base configuration stepping up to 256 will boost the price by $100 to $849 now another way that Apple will be two base models devices is the fact that they will not be millimeter wave compatible select some of the rumors predicted there will actually be a difference between the LTE. technically the still will be capable of 5g but it's the sub 6 gigahertz variance which is only 300 megabits download speed whereas millimeter wave can get up to 1 gigabit plus onculus amount of r and d has to go into that and of course the dedicated modem which is coming from surprising by cheap obviously not cheap but they didn't get much more expensive than the outgoing models in fact they remain the same price so moving on the next device is the iPhone 12 Pro this is the 6.1 inch model he single have a super retina XDR display which is the current naming of the iPhone 11 Pro display this display will be made by Samsung which is good Samsung has a fantastic track record in making the best displays here and it'll feature a 10 bit color depth up until this fall every iPhone will have had an 8 bit display so this is a huge jump in color depth and accuracy 10 bit on an iPhone amazing looking at 6 gigabytes of RAM on this device and the Pro Max the base storage on these devices will also now begin at 128 gigabytes starting at 999 moving up to 256 gigabytes will take you to $1099 and if you want 512 to 1290 that carries a $200 premium these Pro models will have a stainless steel body the Apple F14 Pro models will be capable of some 6 gigahertz and millimeter wave 5g technology so the whispers we've heard of apples putting up the 5g capability between the iphone lineup this year it's true it's unclear apple will bring millimeter wave to the cheaper models next year but this year not happening the specs remain true for the pro max device although the price tag gets 100 dollars more expensive for all the storage options otherwise you're getting a larger display and we've heard about this device being more exclusive with an in-screen touch id is not 
looking like the processor mentions nothing about this pro and to detail on 120 hertz pro motion 120 hertz displays yes they're happening able to fully optimize and get it working main concern being battery life second being color calibrate technology apple wants to make this perfect otherwise it's not happening and there's a very small window motion and there's another issue here display analyst on twitter has voiced concerns saying that there will not be an lt pro display on an iphone this year that's the technology that makes the always on to the iphone until 2021 so if apple were to add promotion to the iphone how they do it max went back says essentially it would switch from 60 to 120 hertz refresh rate modes so it wouldn't be completely variable it couldn't go from one till it's a one 120 it would only switch between two modes so how apple could blend that into a seamless experience it's up to them but it's very possible for that tech to happen i mean even the s20 lineup doesn't have the technology obviously the battery life suffers as a result not having lt po but it's still possible also would like to remind you that msac the hyundai analyst group also predicted that an lt po display would be happened the iphone which is something i'm really looking forward to it but it's not necessarily exclusive to having 120 hertz the ipad pro is a 120 hertz display and doesn't have this tech news regard in early 2021 same thing that cool has reported earlier airpods unlikely to be refreshed or oriented version of airpods is likely wouldn't be airpods 3 or airpods Pro to put a separate line altogether. And another exclusive report by Jim the AirPods name to Apple he says pods just means music so it's perfectly reasonable people are familiar with the AirPods brand AirPods Studio is what these will be called $349.95 when you pull the headphones off of your ears and wrap them around your neck will pause the music temporarily they won't off it simply pauses them so they'll be smart will be aware like the earlier patents predictors so there's no correct way to put these on just come on and go these will also have active noise cancellation and transparency mode much like the airpods pro so apple is pod studio will also have a professional mode aimed for max will be able to change the equalizer settings from low medium and high frequency with various adjustments in a separate also mentions that the apple tv 4k refresh we've been hearing about will be gaining the apple a 12x processor that's while this powerful looks like apple wants to make this a more capable gaming device it will come in 64 and 120 gigabytes storage options twitter leaker love to track record is now predicting that the macbook pro 4 14 inches coming likely in early 2021 it's been pushed back slightly the refresh we just saw on the 13 inch model it's likely the last update to the 13 14 inches in chico mentions that many led technology that was supposed to come to city so we'll be seeing a staggered launch late this year and early next year across several devices mainly one of them being the 14.1 inch macbook pro will believes this device is happening and it will have a mini led display in the 16 inch macbook pro pencil and would have wireless charging built-in super cool dual functionality if you exclusives for mac sac os redwood this year or be named after a pile of rocks and i was 14 is getting a standard color picker api pencil kit is also getting a tune up on how it draws annotations so using a lasso should be a lot cleaner i guess that's it that's the latest details we now know almost everything there is to know about this year's iphone lineup still excited let me know your thought on below comment section and please use the link below description to purchase the latest iphones and any apple products and please subscribe like the video or comment or even unlike the video thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out